I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on transformations. In this video, we'll try to understand how can a rotation be done about origin with any given angle. So the concept is very simple. Let me first explain the concept and then we'll derive a formula. Let us say we are given a point. Let's say this is the point P. Generally, we write the point in xy coordinate as xy. Now the question is, how do we rotate it about origin through some angle? So let's say we want to rotate this through an angle theta. Right? So in that case, this point will be positioned somewhere there. right? So what we get here is, is a point P dash. Let's call this as the image of this point. So the idea is to find the coordinates of the image, right? So you can call them as x dash, y dash, right? We are doing rotation of theta degrees, so theta is general angle, of this particular point. Now since we are talking about angle, we should actually treat this as uh, we do in trigonometry. We can write the coordinate x, y as equal to, let us say this angle here is alpha, right? In that case, the value of x is, and if this is r, right? O to p is r. In that case, the value of x will be equal to r of cos alpha, and the value of y will be r of sin alpha. Uh, right? So R of sine alpha. So we could write it in polar coordinates. So that really helps. Now the idea is that we need to do a rotation of theta. That means you add theta to alpha, right? So, so this is the point P which we are talking about. As far as point P dash is concerned, you can clearly see that now the angle is alpha plus theta, right? So this angle here is alpha plus theta. So the coordinates x dash and y dash can now be written as r of cos of alpha plus theta and y will values would be r of sine of alpha plus theta. So with the result, we can easily get the coordinates of after rotation about the origin. Do you see that concept? So it's absolutely clear, right? So that is how we are going to do questions based on rotation with any angle, right? So, so initially, if you want, sometimes you can always calculate the angle alpha. So, you know, in this particular case, alpha is equal to tan inverse of y over x. And as far as r is concerned, r is square root of x square plus y square, correct? Square root of x square plus r, that is what it is. So these are the basic formulas which can be applied to perform rotation with any angle, right? So I hope this concept is clear. Let me take an angle, uh, theta as some value, and some point here, x, y, and then perform this operation to give you an example. Now let's take an example. So let us say we have a point P, which is at some value, let's say 5, 4. Okay, so we've just taken a point P. And what we need to do is to rotate counterclockwise through an angle of, let us say, 30 degrees. So that is the rotation about origin. So let us see how to do this. Now clearly from what we discussed the point P dash will be what? Let's call it x dash y dash will be equal to r of cos of let's say original angle is alpha and we are doing rotation of 30 degrees so alpha plus 30 degrees and the y value will be r sine of 
alpha plus 30 degrees. Now, how do we get this? So, let's make our uh, triangle. We just will sketch this triangle here. 60, 30, 90, right? So, 30 degrees is this. Sides are 1, 2, square root 3. So, we'll use this particular triangle. So, let's calculate these values one by one. Well, if we are given this point as 5, 4, in that case, this side here will be r cos alpha. Do you see that? So, r cos alpha is from, is the x coordinate value. And this value here is r sin alpha. So, in this case, when you expand, what do you get? Let us expand this. So, when you expand, you get r of cos alpha cos of 30 degrees minus r of sin alpha sin of 30 degrees, right? So, that becomes the x coordinate value. The y will be r of sin alpha sin 30 degrees. Oh, sorry, say cos 30 degrees, okay, plus r cos alpha sine 30 degrees, correct? So, we just expanded using the formula, compound angle formula, sine a plus b. Now, in this formula, you can clearly see that r cos alpha is the x component, right, which is 5 in this case. So, we get 5 of cos 30 degrees minus, this is 4. 4 of sine 30 degrees. So, that becomes the x value, right? The y value will be r of sine alpha, which is basically 4, right? So, 4 of cos of 30 degrees, which is square root 3 over 2. So, let me write cos 30 degrees first. Plus r cos alpha, which is x value 5 of sine 30 degrees. Is that clear? Now we can substitute the values and simplify. So we get 5 times cos 30 degrees. Cos 30 degrees is square root 3 over 2. So that will be square root 3 over 2 minus 4 times sine of 30 degrees, which is half. So that becomes the x value. The y value will be 4 times cos of 30 square root 3 over 2 plus 5 times sine of 30, which is half, right, which you could calculate and write down the result as common denominator of 2, right, 5 square root 3 minus 4, that is the x value. The y value will be common denominator of 2, 4 square root 3 plus 5. So, this becomes the point after rotation by an angle of 30 degrees. Does make sense to you? So, that is how you could actually find the rotation with any given angle about origin, right? So, using compound angle formula is the key. So, I hope this concept is absolutely clear. So, I hope the concept is absolutely clear. I have pushed the space slightly up so that you can see the calculations which we did later. So, finally, the transformed point after a rotation of 30 degrees will have the coordinates which are shown as 5 cos 30 minus 4 sin 30 for the x value, 4 cos 30 plus 5 sin 30 for the y coordinate. Substituting the values using our special triangle, we get the exact values which are 5 square root 3 minus 4 over 2 and 4 square root 3 plus 5 over 2. So, I hope this example helps you to understand all the concepts. You can actually watch other videos related to the same topic for more practice. Thanks for your time and all the best.